Hi everyone, my name is Danielle Senior, and today I want to speak to you about the power of perspective. But before I begin, I want to pose a question. I want each of you to think back on your day and begin to name in your head each of the things you spent money on at some point throughout today. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Now, I'm sure many of us had most of the same answers, whether that be the bills, a meal, or that new pair of shoes you've been eyeing up for weeks. However, one purchase that probably slipped your mind, and one I'm sure almost every person in this room could agree on, was coffee. I'll admit, I began my day the same way I always do. Alarm sounds as the morning light proceeds to beam through my damn apartment windows. My 6 a.m. workout takes place, and I proceed with my day the same way that 170 million other people throughout the country my age and older do by drinking a nice cup of coffee. I walked only about 20 feet to the nearest Wawa and proceeded to pay $1.94 for the coffee that would supposedly get me through the day. However, what if I now told you that this $1.94 was not only your allotted expenditure for just your coffee, but for all of life's other expenses that really do get you through the day? Unfortunately, this is the often overlooked reality that 736 million people across the world are facing on a daily basis, living off of less than $1.90 a day to cover all of their personal and familial needs. Out of this 736 million, 413 million members are dwelling in regions of sub-Saharan Africa, with that number continuing to increase every single year. Currently out of reach awaits their chance for exposure and enlightenment into the one source which single-handedly offers their escape. The cost of this escape is the daily school fee of a dollar twenty-five. One dollar and twenty-five cents. Five whole quarters. Or just half the price of your grande Starbucks coffee. The cost for schooling seems doable, right? Yet across the world, 236 million children are denied access to education. 136 million girls never get enrolled at all. And in Sub-Saharan Africa, most are withdrawn from marriage by age 18. Out of those to whom schooling is granted, less than half actually complete their education, being pulled out at a young age to attend to other familial needs that will help improve the economic situations of the household. So now let me ask you this. How is a country ever supposed to achieve increased economic prosperity when the next generations have no choice but to continue to live in the impoverished reality upon which they grew up? A reality in which the dollar twenty-five, which it would cost them to go to school, doesn't even come close to making it in the family's dollar nine a day budget. Well, knowing what we now know, let's get a little creative. So what if every coffee shop donated one dollar for every ten cups sold to account for this one in ten people who live under a dollar ninety a day? Well, since there's twenty-four thousand big name coffee shops throughout the country, each averaging sales of about 250 cups a day. That means $6 million are being made daily on the sale of coffee alone. So, if every coffee shop did donate one in 10 for every 10th cup sold, $1 for every 10th cup sold, that would mean $600,000 could be made in one day on the sale of coffee. With this $600,000, you could send 480,000 kids to school per day in Sub-Saharan Africa. And what would equate to less than 24 hours of raising money? The provided funds would be sufficient enough to send 110 children to school until the end of their secondary education. 13 whole years. If 13 years seems like a long time, I want to highlight that this is also enough to finance the building of 48 brand new schools. A key metric for which depicts the long-lasting impact that this type of monetary support could have on these communities as a whole. A habitual and unquestioned payment, which 170 million of us are making every single day, analyzed in a way like never before. So, what would be the return on investment of you not investing your dollar twenty-five in coffee, but instead in the education of a child currently denied that right somewhere else in the world? The answer is a sub-Saharan economy that would spike higher and faster than ever before, and families would face a multitude of both health and financial benefits. If all of us can change our perspective for one day and give up that cup of coffee we can easily survive without, we can help provide thousands of children with accessibility to something as simple yet monumental 
as the lasting impacts of an education. For girls alone, the impacts are as monumental as these. A girl in school marries at a later age, has a smaller family with much less inflected illness, earns twice as much as she otherwise would have, has knowledge of her rights, and is confident enough in her voice and opinions to speak in a manner strong enough to change the standards of her time. In giving them an education and a voice, we open up the doors to opportunities that will make them key influencers in both the working world and in their communities. An influence so large that it's estimated to have the potential to raise the GDP from anywhere between 15 and 30 trillion dollars. We know this because it's been proven that decreasing gender parity gaps and giving women more of a say and opportunity in the workplace has consistently increased the profitability and productivity of businesses all throughout the country. In giving them an education and a voice, we open up the doors to opportunities that will make them key influencers in both, both the working world and in their communities. One day, and one cup of coffee, that is all it takes. And I'm telling you that education is a voice. A voice is influence. Influence is power. Power to stand for something larger than yourself and larger than the barriers which held you down in your community all the years before. And the price of this voice, an investment in a child's education for 13 years, would amount to a total of $5,431.58, which, when viewed in incremental payments, can be provided through the price of a cup of coffee a day. A drink, a beverage so commonplace in the world of academia and profession, suddenly carries a whole new equivalency of power. The price of the cup that's supposed to get you through work or school can now be the impetus that provides those same opportunities to millions of underprivileged children unexposed to these luxuries in the first place. One day and one cup of coffee. That is all it takes.